Our top news this week. Atomos unveiled their latest firmware update 9.1 for the Sumo 19 HDR monitor recorder. New functionality includes quad ISO recording and on-screen selectable output switching, plus 5.7K ProRes RAW recording at up to 30 frames per second with the Panasonic EVA1. The quad ISO recording function streamlines the equipment required for multicam shoots and live productions by combining multiple functions into the same box. Users can now monitor up to four GenLocked HD sources simultaneously and ISO record each as a separate ProRes or DNX file to a single SSD. At Cinegear, Sony also announced that firmware version 2.0 for the Sony Venice will be released at the beginning of July, which is a month earlier than the original roadmap. New functionality includes dual base ISO of 500 and 2500, variable frame rates from 1 to 60 frames per second, in addition to 4K anamorphic and 6K full frame in 25p. Sony also announced Venice extension system that allows the Venice sensor block to be detached from the camera body at distances of up to 20 feet apart to accommodate more compact 3D rigs. The new system has been developed in close partnership with James Cameron's company Lightstorm and will be used to film the Avatar sequels starting in December. Blue Shape have announced a new battery adapter for the Alexa LF, which enables cinematographers to use their existing 14.4 volt high draw V mount or gold mount batteries to power the latest large format ARRI camera. The Blue Shape MVAL LF is designed to be mounted on the back of the Alexa LF, providing regulated 21 volts to the camera from standard V lock batteries and also doubling up as an extra power source for hot swap operations when the camera is powered from a DC source. That's it for this week. We'll be back next week with more news in 90 seconds.